Acats, it's Ed and Midsole Bud here. The new shoe releases are coming thick and fast, and thus it's time for another episode of Running Shoe Yay or Nay. Thanks for joining us here on the channel. It's always appreciated. If you're yet to do so, hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when we launch the new videos for you. It also helps us out a ton if you give this video a thumbs up like, but also share it with your running buddies. Cheers, me dears. Running Shoe Yo on A is a show where I don't say a shoe's great or terrible. I'm just talking about whether I might pick them up for review in the near future. It could be that another shoe tuber may be able to do a certain shoe more justice and it just won't fit into my rotation. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's get to it. Shoe number one. An even cheaper Adidas shoe has been launched with an eco-friendly vibe. The Parley X Adi Zero model features some recycled elements in the upper. Those are made from ocean plastics and recycled polyester. Though we do have a light strike foam midsole, kind of makes this one like a SL20 but without any torsional elements in the midsole. The shoe seems to be more of a member of the Adidas Allbirds CO2E model but with a slightly more bulky design, though we do have the same outsole rubber elements, although the bio-based midsole is absent here in the Parley X Adi Zero. Adidas mentioned here that it's only 60% of the emissions used to actually create the shoe than the previous model. I'm not sure which model they mean by that. This seems to be very much its own thing. It doesn't really look all that much like any other Adi Zero model we've had in the past. At only 100 Earth credits here in the UK, this does look to be a more distance capable shoe with that light strike midsole. I think some people that picked up the Allbirds Adidas collaboration did find that that one perhaps wasn't the greatest distance shoe, perhaps a more everyday shorter distance type of shoe. Sadly though, this one is out of stock in my size. I'm not sure whether they'll release more, hopefully they will in the future. So it's an enforced nay for the time being, perhaps until they get some more in stock, if they do. Shoe two. We have some clearer images now of the Nike Zoom Fly 5. And with those better images, we can assess more of the features. Clearly the Zoom X here in the midsole of the Zoom Fly 5 is that scrap material. The same stuff that we've seen used on the Next Nature version of the Alpha Fly and also the forthcoming Pegasus Turbo Next Nature. It appears on face value at least that it's contained within another foam carrier. I think this is the SR02 foam that we found on the Vomero 16. So in theory it's a similar type of design. We have the Zoom X stuff encased within the other foam, although this time it's the crushed up scraps of Zoom X. I think we just add Virgin Zoom X in the Vimari 16. That foam is very soft, it's flexible and should make for a durable carrier in this version of the Zoom Fly. It does appear we still have that full length carbon plate in the Zoom Fly 5 that first appeared in the Zoom Fly Flyknit and I know many many viewers of the channel really loved that shoe. I really enjoyed it as well. I found it had just the right amount of flex and the firmness. The React was a different beast back then. I think the big difference is here that people have missed in the past is the side walls on the shoe. They seem to be quite built up. I don't think we're going to get the huge stack of foam here that everybody's expecting. Looks like we've got a wider forefoot and heel here, so we should have a little bit more of a stable offering from Nike. Let's just hope it's a slightly lighter weight than the three and the four. Gotta be, surely. I really hope so. I think the upper might be quite light and on point, so it's definitely a yay from me for the Nike Zoom Fly 5. Shoe 3. You cats know that I love the Takumi Sen 8 from Adidas. It's rapidly become one of my favorite shoes to run in. So I'm very excited to see that New Balance have dropped the Fuel Cell Super Comp Pacer over here in the UK. They reckon the sample size is just over 200 grams, which is very promising. It certainly looks sleek, and we have that carbon fiber equipped midsole here. Could be a 5K monster, or perhaps even a very capable half marathon shoe. It's been released in both this white and vibrant spring version, plus a blue and apricot variant. Reminds me of a glass of Ribena. The upper appears very breathable and light and also fitting and containing. Certainly a lower stack here though, it's certainly in that same pigeonhole as the Takumi Sen 8. No actual measurements here from New Balance themselves, though I have read somewhere that it's an 8mm drop, which is spot on. Barely a slither of rubber there in the forefoot, but I don't really see anybody spending all that much time in the heel of this shoe. Just a couple of short pieces of rubber around the heel there, this is very much a pace shoe. I mean, it's called the Pacer, so 
what do you expect? There's some Rebel 2 vibes here and a shoe certainly to rival the Sen 8, I think. There is an eye-watering price of 160 Earth credits, though, unless you can find a code to get it down to 128. A definite yay for me, though. This one ticks a lot of boxes. Light, nimble, slightly lower stack, all things that I'm really enjoying right now. Too exciting a shoe to pass up. I'll certainly be picking up the Fuel Cell Super Comp Pacer. Very odd name. Just call it the Fuel Cell Pacer. Seems to <laughs> do the trick, doesn't it? Last but not least, shoe number four. The Solomon Glide Max is a big old unit. A maximally cushioned road beast, this one, with some Solomon Hallmark vibes. I'm really digging the Lunar Rock black and turquoise colorway here. There's a huge stack in the heel, 37.4 millimeters apparently, so in my size it's going to be way above 40. Big difference here though against this and some of the other maximally cushioned shoes, we have a 10 millimeter drop, so quite aggressive really. Not many shoes have such a downhill slope from heel to toe, most of those others stick to a more meagre drop to get more and more foam underfoot. The Energy Surge midsole is one which I've been keen to know more about. It's sounding similar in formula to the stuff that we found in the Under Armour Hover series, but it does appear that they've implemented some EVA and blended that together with the Olifin stuff. There looks like some considerable grip underfoot and a more attractive price than some of the competitors means that I'm still a little bit intrigued by this one. It does look a little bit more promising than the Cloud Monster by On. That shoe just really didn't live up to my expectations. Just wasn't all that cushioned. I think this one will be. And it's set to drop at 140 Earth credits here in the UK. A yay from me for the Solomon Glide Max. Okay, that's all four shoes in today's yay or nay. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these down in the comments. The pace is on the way, by the way. A musical interlude for you. I dug this one out from the archives by The Thrills. Don't know if you remember this group. It seemed to have disappeared off the scene. This album was entitled So Much For The City. There's a couple of tunes that stick in my mind from this one. Santa Cruz and Big Sur as well. Very much a sort of beach vibe, almost Beach Boysy sort of approach to things. Quite whimsical indie pop though and very enjoyable. It's a really great musicianship here and some quite natural sounding instrumentation and really good vocal harmonies and effects that have been applied just to add to the sort of propulsive sound. It really did sound like a record that had been made 20, 30 years previous. I think it was recorded in 2003, maybe the latter part of 2002. So I think it's like, you know, 20 odd years old just doesn't seem to compute. No idea what happened to the thrills. I don't know if they produce much else after this, but certainly this album's worth checking out. So much for the city by the thrills. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the yay or nay today. Hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.